Hey guys, this is RMD Tech, and today we're going to be looking at the Jumper EZ Book 3 Pro. And it's a budget friendly laptop coming in at about £200. And if you think about it, that's actually a very good price point. It's very much on the budget end of things, but it also sort of gives you enough sort of space for 6GB of RAM, an IPS 13 inch display, as well as sort of a few other creature comforts that you might enjoy. Now, this laptop here that I've been using for the past couple of weeks has treated me very well. However, today we're going to be actually looking at whether or not it is worth you spending your money on and perhaps maybe picking yourself up one this Christmas. Picking it. Yep. English, English failed me there, but don't worry, the rest, of, the rest of this review will be fine. So it doesn't take a genius to work out that this laptop probably takes quite a bit of its design inspiration from Apple and some of their MacBook laptops. That is a tongue twister, MacBook laptops. Yeah, maybe not as bad as I thought it was, but under the pressure it's did. Anyway, I digress. The point is, they take a lot of inspiration from Apple. Now, that isn't necessarily a bad thing because as a result of this we've got a full metal shell which is made of aluminium and it does feel very nice in the hands, it makes it feel much sturdier and ScreenFlex for example is far better than you'd actually suspect on a laptop that only costs £200. Uh, it's you know, more than manageable and it's, it does make the laptop feel a lot sturdier in the bag if you just need to chuck it in and just run out the door. It, does f it doesn't necessarily feel like it's going to break the first time you drop it. I actually have a little bit of confidence in this laptop that it might be able to survive a fall, which is actually helped by the fact it has no mechanical storage. It's all uh, it's sort of flash memory installed in with 64 gigabytes you know, to start you off with, but is SSD upgradable, so that is a big benefit for this laptop. Now, not only that, but the laptop itself is, like I say, built very well. However, the same can't be said for the keyboard. It, whilst the keyboard definitely works and the travel distances between the keys are certainly fine, you know, they work well for typing, it does definitely feel less than premium when typing, but that's almost to be suspected on a laptop of this price range. One thing which does, however, annoy me quite a bit is the fact that the power button is literally right next to the backspace button. Now, imagine you're sat there typing away at an essay for university. You're typing away, you make a mistake, oh, let me just backspace, and then all of a sudden you've powered off your laptop. Now, usually this isn't too much of an issue because you have a little bit of time to fix such a mistake if you make it, but if you don't notice it right away, there's a chance you could lose quite a bit of unsaved work. So please, if you do get this laptop, make sure you're careful <laughs> pressing the power button. Whilst we are on the subject of the keyboard, it's probably a good idea to note that there is no UK layout version. This device only comes with a US layout keyboard. So if you're okay with that, or you live in the United States, then that's fine for you. Anybody else, you might want to look elsewhere because even if you purchase this in the UK, you will get a UK power plug so you can charge it. However, you will not get a UK layout keyboard, as annoying as that is. One thing which I briefly touched on before is how I think this laptop is actually quite good for travelling. Now, bear with me here. My reasons for thinking that are maybe not the most conventional, because this laptop, as I say, isn't exactly the lightest. You know, it's, it's fairly light, but for its size and what it's packing inside, it's not exactly the lightest, and that's partially because of the aluminium frame. Now, the reason why I still believe this laptop to be good for people who are travelling is for several reasons. The charger, for instance, has no power brick. Because this is such a low power laptop, there, no, there is no power brick required to charge this laptop, so the charger is so compact. And for me, when I'm taking my laptop around in a bag, always having to sort of wrap the cord up around the power brick and just carrying around that extra weight for me is always a massive nightmare. So, and I know, I know, 21st century problems, right? But the point is, is this power brick is so small and just easy to carry around that there is literally no issues at all. And that's just the beginning of things. It's also the fact that it's a 13 inch laptop. You know, that's not exactly uncommon. However, it is very handy if you just need to chuck it in the bag and go because you're not gonna have to sort of sit there, reorganize everything, make sure you can find a space for it in your bag. It is so small, it's like a, like a normal size book. You just stick it in there and off you go to the races. Other than that, I don't really have that many reasons other than it just performs well. Oh, there we go. I remembered. 
Yeah, the battery life. Battery life is fantastic. And that's what we're going to look at now. Okay, so you will have to forgive me because I don't remember the numbers. I, I do have them written down on a little document I've got here, so I will have to turn and read them to you. But for my battery life tests, I did three tests. I did a YouTube test in which I charged the laptop, laptop up all the way to 100%, unplugged it and began YouTube on autoplay. I then conducted a gaming test in which I ran Skyrim. Again, charged it to 100%, opened up Skyrim, unplugged the laptop, and just waited for it to run out of charge. And then, finally, we did a web browsing test, where I just sat there in bed, browsing Reddit and Facebook and whatever I felt like, until the laptop finally died. So, if I just turn to my side here, I can officially tell you that the YouTube test, the laptop managed to survive 4 hours and 11 minutes. For the gaming test, running Skyrim, we were able to achieve 2 hours and 22 minutes. And finally, for the web browsing test, we were able to achieve 5 hours and 50 minutes. Now, if you ask me, that is fantastic, especially when you consider the size of the laptop itself. Now, you also have to remember that that is also on 100% brightness. So this really is going to be a worst case scenario, because 100% brightness, Wi-Fi connected, you know, there was... I wanted to make sure that this was going to be the worst case scenario for this laptop. Now obviously with battery degradation, this will get worse over time as it would with any laptop or other battery powered device, but having used this laptop for the past few weeks I can safely say that this is about what you can expect on a day to day basis. Okay, so if you've decided to watch this video without ever looking at the spec sheet of this laptop, then now I'm going to save you because I'll tell you the specs now. It's got a 4-core, four 4-thread four Intel Apollo Lake N3450 CPU, and that's got a base clock of 1.1GHz with a boost clock of 2.2GHz, which actually, if for a laptop of this price range, is very, very good. It performs really well, actually, for pretty much anything you would need to do from just... If, if you're using it as a simple Facebook machine or web browsing, or even just for university in general, it's fine. It works fine for YouTube, Netflix, things like that. It all works really well. Um, not only that, it also has 6GB of DDR3 RAM as well as 64GB of eMMC storage. Now, that can also be upgraded with a M.2 SSD. That sort of goes in the bottom. It won't be an NVMe SSD, it'll be a uh, SATA SSD, so expect SATA speeds from that. However, the fact that you can upgrade the storage is really handy and I really appreciate that. As, oh, and also the fact that it has a 13.3 inch IPS display. It's, it's only a 1080p display, but it's IPS, so you get really good viewing angles, reasonably good sort of colour accuracy. It's, quite, it's not a particularly expensive panel, but it does have decent colour reproduction, and IPS, obviously, the viewing angles are going to be good pretty much no matter what. So, unlike that TN panel right there, I can actually look at it at any sort of direction other than just head on like this so that is really nice if I want to just sort of sit and watch a film with a friend or whatever I'm doing you know, it's, it's very nice to have an IPS display other than that there aren't particularly many specs other than the fact it's got a 2 megapixel camera which you can see now and whilst it's not the worst camera in the world it definitely could be a lot better and the microphone certainly leaves a lot of room for improvement so I hope you did find that brief rundown quite useful. Now, I know we didn't go into details like gaming performance, but that wasn't really the intention of this review, because this laptop isn't designed for that. It's designed for you to sit and do light work on it. It's not designed for gaming. But overall, would I recommend this laptop at the price point that it is currently priced at? Yes. it's a, For about £200, this is a good laptop. It will have good battery life, it will do all of the work you need it to do, provided you're not trying to do video editing or photo editing or trying to play games. If you're just sat there trying to browse the internet and get work done, then this laptop would be ideal for you. So university students, college students, high school students, secondary school students, people going to work on the train, this sort of laptop is ideal for you. And that's pretty much all I've got to say. It's not an exceptional laptop. It's not mind-blowing, it just works, and it's really good value for money. So if you did enjoy that video, please do make sure to hit like and subscribe, leave a comment if you do have any suggestions down below, 
other than that, there aren't really any other things for me to remind you to do because everyone else already reminds you anyway. So, hope you did enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one.